such a joy to continue to study from Isaiah chapter 61 today we will look at verse 4 it says and they shall rebuild the old ruins they shall raise up the former desolations and they shall repair the ruined cities the desolations of many generations we've been talking about the work of the anointed one in other words the messiah um uh, and we know that it is jesus and isaiah prophesied that through his life will come deliverance salvation um and all things good and in this verse we see that those who have received from the salvation of jesus uh, will not just enjoy the privileges of salvation but that god will empower them to release the same deliverance and release the same work into the lives of others so those who have received the salvation we are told that they will rebuild old ruins we have a god who specializes in restoring ruins we have a god who loves to take ruins and um, you know desolate things and and make it Uh, into something beautiful uh, and so we can put our trust in him we can put our hope in him and see what only god can do in and through our lives as we consider you know this this uh, passage we're also told that those who receive the salvation of christ they will repair the ruined cities so when it comes to rebuilding um and uh, doing uh releasing that same work of restoration uh, into the lives of others uh let us let us uh, have faith that it's not just to restore you know a few individuals but scripture is talking about restoring the ruins of cities repairing the ruins of cities uh, which simply means that god wants a greater impact and god is able to make a greater impact through the lives of his children and it says the desolation of many generations you know it, it's as if god is just expanding um our, our thinking capacity and and letting us see the great vision the way he sees and the way he thinks and he's saying the desolations of many generations even if uh, there are things that have lingered on for generations we see that our god is a god who can deliver restore uh, and you know he can repair and rebuild such ruins a classic example is the life of nehemiah when he went to repair the walls uh, of jerusalem we know that uh, the situation had lasted for at least you know uh, two decades or more than that so um, he was somebody who stepped into a uh, stepped into a, a situation that no one else had dared to take a to change but you know that courage that nehemiah had came from god he believed that he could rebuild the walls of uh, an ancient very important city and uh, by god's grace you know he was able to do it uh, and similarly i'm sure that god wants each one of us to be repairers rebuilders restorers uh, of uh, many lives around us let's pray together Father we um thank you for the hope which we have in you and the hope that you release through us Lord for for others we pray that uh, we will see your vision Lord and and make a great impact the way you dream for us in Jesus name we pray amen Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org